Hello viewers, welcome back to some more gameplay in the Ford GT. Got a couple of good races for you today. First one of which is around Lime Rock Park. Our capital of chaos in Forza 6. Now, you'll notice I have turned on traction control. I wanted to experiment with this car. See if it is better with traction control on in this class. I think a lot of leaderboard times do have traction on. But these two guys have collided. I've gone around the outside. A great opportunistic double overtake going from third into first. Now, this is a good track to try and stay ahead on. It's actually quite uh, quite easy, um, if you're good, I, I, I guess, uh, to stay ahead. Um, if you can just nail your ba uh, breaking points, as I don't do there, so I guess it's not, not completely easy, um, because it can be quite hard under pressure especially to try and stay ahead. But then, coming through the final turn, we are going to have a very close race here with IFE Radial. It's going to be a very good race here to the end. Now coming into the first turn, clatter into that uh, advertising hoarding. Actually slows me down a little bit. I do wish that those tyres and the advertising things, you couldn't uh, actually make contact with them. It would be better if you just go through them uh, after a lap or so. Because that can fuck you up very badly if you get unlucky. But then, coming through turn two, or... What turn is that? About four. I don't even know. I'm just I'm just making up numbers here. But then coming through this one, turn 68 or something. Uh, the guy is right on my tail, as indicated there by the orange on the back of my car, um, roaming around there. He is somewhere right behind me, and he is actually being very competent driver here, uh, holding station, staying behind. He's not going to force the issue. He's probably just going to wait for a mistake from me. But then out of this turn, I do have to drive down the straight. We do have different setups on our cars. It seems that my one is better tuned for the straight. His one more for the corners. Which you would think is better for this track. The corners um, are more prevailing in this uh, circuit. The straight isn't very long. More corners in this one definitely. But then through this turn. He is still right on my tail. But in this kind of situation you just got to keep calm. Hit your marks. And then hope that the other guy is a competent driver. Which they're normally not, but if they are, then you probably um, will win the race. As long as you uh, just hit your marks, accelerate at the right time, turn at the right time. There's not a lot they can do if your car is a balance. But I guess that isn't normally the case. Normally they are a total idiot. will just clatter into you and wipe you out. But this guy seems to be a rarity in the, ra in the game. Uh, very good driver. And then coming through here on lap Five, just get ahead of the Ultima GTR. Back markers coming into play now at the end of this race. Go a little bit too deep into the chicane. Coming back for a very late apex over the kerb. And then it looks like we've got a back marker between us now. It's always good news. But then through the final turn, we've got another couple of back markers here. This, uh, this guy going to the right hand side, let me pass. Now that is always a worry. I just wonder if he is just going to go into the first turn, not break. And thankfully he does. He's not going to be that rammer. Uh, from a couple of videos ago who smashed me off at that very turn at about 200 miles an hour where I died but coming through here turn number 341 off the track we are still in the lead but the lead isn't very big and worryingly we don't have a back marker between us so if this back marker here comes into play too much then the lead could switch here on the last lap so let's see if it happens into the last turn I've got a little bit of space, I've got a little bit of leeway to the guy behind, so I can afford to be careful here. This guy kind of just ghosts out, and that guy just gets completely confused, doesn't know what the hell is going on, so he swerves off the track, and I'm through, and I'm going to win the race in this Ford GT Le Mans car. A satisfying win, uh, opportunistic overtake at the start, managed to get into the lead, and then just held station there from the uh, start of the race to the end of the race. A, a good uh, race from the guy in second there as well, um, playing it very patient. Perhaps got a little bit unlucky with the back markers there because he was right behind me for the entire race until those back markers came along. But we're going to move ahead in just a moment to another very good race around the Nürburgring. There are the results. A lot of four GT Le Mans cars, everyone trying them out. It's actually a very good car. So here we go around the Nürburgring. Uh, four laps around this track. Oh, I do like this track. So let's go off the line. Uh, we've got our rival there from the previous race just behind us in fourth. So into the first turn. One of the most carnage-filled uh, turns in the game. And there is confirmation of that. 
I've been spun around, but I tried to rejoin here in uh, briefly 10th, but in 9th now. We've got a bit more co uh, collection of cars there um, smashing into each other ahead. I make one position out of that. Try to go around the outside of these couple of guys here. Now this, ooh, is... I don't know, I kind of felt like I turned ever so slightly to the left, but uh, the guy on the far left was trying to turn too far to the right. It was, I don't know, a bit of a... Um, I'm going to call it a racing incident, but you know, if you want to blame me for that, then uh, you end up in my basement, quite frankly. So I go past that guy into fourth, and we are hunting down the podium positions. We have got a guy up in the lead there, getting away in the Pagani Zonda, and then he's being chased by three four GT Le Mans cars here. So let's see what we can do. Now, you can see here that my car does actually gain ever so slightly coming into the Schumacher Rest. Hinting at my extra speed down the straight. Now this guy has gone off the track. I go to the left. He pump gets punted into my path. And I'm off. I'm going to lose a couple of positions because of that. But we can continue in 8th. Now um, that's going to set me back quite a lot. But it's going to make it interesting. Let's see what we can do from here. We've got a train of about 5 cars ahead. Which is always good news. They are probably going to start battling quite a lot. Slowing each other down. Which is only going to play into my hands as we come through the kink into the final chicane of the Nürburgring circuit. Only three more turns left of the lap. These two here, and then the long right-hander at the end. So we've got an Aston Martin slow out of the chicane, up the inside, into sixth position, my fave. And we come through, getting decent traction with trash control. Yes, I'm using trash control because I'm experimenting with it. This guy goes off. I didn't touch him. He's going to come back on, and I'm going to do the sickest reverse entry drift on the straight managed to correct it and I carry on going and I've gone down into eight of these two guys come back past me was that someone off the track it was he's rejoining and that guy who uh, I collided with just a moment ago going straight on locking up his brakes into turn one and he is off I'm gonna go around the outside of this radical he's not gonna leave me a lot of space so I'm almost forced off the track try the cut back overtake on him here I try to go around the outside He's just not having it. Fair enough. That was fair enough. I was trying to uh, maybe force my, in, uh, force my way in around the outside. He's not having any of it. Playing hardball. But that was completely fair. A bit hard. But I'm going to accept that. That was a good racing manoeuvre. We're going to try again later. Or well, not too much later because he's off here. And we're going to go up the inside. But it looks like his car there has got the straight line speed. But has got the brakes as we come into the hairpin at the edge of the circuit. I'm on the inside on the brakes. Get it hooked up with the apex and I'm through. I heard contact there. Are they off the circuit? Doesn't matter to me. We're going to try and catch up with these guys again. We've got a train of four ahead through the Schumacher rest. And they are going to be losing a lot of time there, as indeed they are. And this guy's lo uh, lost a lot of time. My rival from the previous race. I'm up the inside into the next chicane. And I'm through into fifth position. And then looking up the inside of the Ferrari into the right. And I've just got the space. And I just about go through with a slight graze of the Ferrari. And he's off. He's uh, overcommitted through the exit. And I'm through into fourth. And I kind of get third into the chicane. It's going to be a very brave move from here. I'm going to look for the inside. But I'm not quite going to go for it. Not that far. And then just going over the curb quite a bit there. To make sure I avoid the other cars. And I actually lose out. Because I don't get the momentum and the drive out of the chicane. into the final turn. As we come through the final turn. The, four, uh, the other Ford there getting the run on me but then as as it was in the previous Lime Rock race I have the extra speed down the straight against this guy and I managed to regain the position as we break into turn one just get on the uh, brakes a little bit too much there locking up but still managing to get onto the apex so we had to head into turn two uh, just getting grazed ever so slightly from behind there getting pushed ever so, wide, uh, so slightly wide this guy head lags over a little bit then as we come through the fourth turn, I'm just going to misjudge this completely and just wipe him out. That is just awful driving from me. So I'm going to have to wait for him and let him go. Now, yes, I do advocate uh, clean driving, but that does allow for mistakes. You know, people are allowed to make mistakes, and I made one there. But thankfully, I did let him go back past. And I did send a message to him after saying sorry, to which he accepted. And now we're going to continue with the race like men as we come down into the hairpin we've got one and a half laps left to go in this race can we get another position here we're in sixth position my favorite 
of course. He goes a little bit wide here into the chicane, but he can cut back for a later apex, as indeed he does. Well, he doesn't really hit an apex at all, but he gets a decent drive off the turn into the Schumacher S. I'll go a little bit too early. He's lagging all over the place. Don't know where he is. Briefly goes onto the gravel. That is a very interesting racing line, and it's actually helped him quite a lot because he actually gained about 10 car lengths on me there. So I might have to try that gravel racing line on the next lap to improve my lap time. The Ferrari up ahead there, getting a bit sideways through the, uh, through the chicane there. And the Aston Martin is going to get a run on him. I, I know that Aston Martin is actually very good for our class, uh, from what I can tell, as we come up into the chicane. Let's see what we can do here. Three different types of cars here, all battling for position. Having to slow down there, get punted from behind, a little bit of a boost as we come up to the final turn of lap three. Just one more lap left after this. So it's going to get very heated and interesting here as we have one lap left to try and get onto the podium. The podium is clearly within sight here. The Aston Martin just ahead of that Ferrari. So here we go, across the line, one lap left. Let's see what we can do from here. Breaking on the end of the shadow there is pretty much a decent place to start braking. And I'm seeing some indicators there. I was scared that I was going to get punted. Thankfully didn't. So we're going to try and get past the Ferrari 458. He drifts a little bit wide there. And I cut back for the uh, cut back on the exit of the turn. Go a little bit deep into turn three. He grazes the outside of my car, but I'm through into fourth. So can we catch up with that Aston Martin up ahead? It's going to be very close towards the end of the race. I think this car, this 4 GT, is very good around the turns, around these long uh, chicanes that Nurburgring is very famous for, actually. Um, well, maybe not famous for. In my mind it is, so I said it, but I don't think it is really famous for its chicanes. But you'll probably notice that a lot of the turns on this track are left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So it has a lot of quick direction changes. Um, so as we come up into Schumacher S, again another left, right. Um, it really shows you the characteristics of this car. It is very good around these fast turns. And it does grip very nicely. So as we go through there, I have gained ever so slightly. But actually, second place is on here because second place has actually slowed down quite a lot. And he's right in front of the Aston Martin. I've caught up with the Aston. The Aston is going to go for a move. Is he not? He's going to pull back out. And he's going to live to fight for another day. As we come up into the chicane. What is he going to do here? He's going to take a miracle for me to get second from this kind of position. He's going to edge him out wide. The Aston Martin is going out wide. He's pushed him off the track. I'm going to go up the outside into the chicane. Aston Martin has gone flying off to the right. He, the Ford here has just grazed the tyre wall. And I'm through by about a millimetre. A millimetre from carnage. And I've just escaped into the final turn. I'm going to finish second. That was a very good race. Littered with mistakes. Littered with great overtakes. And littered with just general banter all over the place there. Finishing second. Pleasing race in the end. Made a mistake there hitting that guy. Letting him back past. And uh, finishing second in the end. So that was actually a really uh, quite enjoyable race. But we're going to go to some bonus clips here. Or just a bonus clip of a Bernese Alps race. So, now what you're going to watch for is the guy ahead in the Aston Martin going for a very interesting line, wall riding. And then he actually gets a very fast exit because of it. Now go to the next lap. I'm ahead by this point. So, we're going to watch behind here. There is his uh, arrow. He's going to bounce off the wall, come back for a late apex and go past me. Now you can add that to the list of noob techniques such as ramming and corner cutting. This is just another uh, technique to add to that list. There he goes again. Well, I was not happy with him for doing that. As we come up to the finish line at Bernie's Alps, he's going to get a run on me here. So I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I'm just going to cut him off. No, fuck you. You're not coming past me with that shit technique. You can quite frankly fuck off with your shitty technique there, mate. Um, <laughs> when Super GT has to resort to swearing, you know that it's, you know it's serious. And that is serious. That is really serious. That matters. That really matters. But yeah, that's that's it. That's that's the end of the video, guys. Let me know your thoughts as always. Subscribe for more. Hit that like button. And I hope to see you in my next one. Goodbye.